All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to convert a Zoom playlist to a, a Windows Media Player playlist, and then to, finally, an iTunes. So let's begin. We have a playlist here um, called Poop. Okay, yours can be as huge as it is, like, you know, like say 112 songs, about six hours and 48 minutes, but for this instance, I'm just gonna go with two songs and we're gonna call it Poop. Why poop? Because, well, I don't want to begin flame wars, but iTunes is kind of sucky. But anyway, regardless, we like the interface of Zune or Windows Media Player, and we want to get to iTunes. Okay, let's cut the crap. Okay, what your first objective is going to be is to go underneath your music file. And then we have to find a folder called Playlist. So we're going to do that right now. Here it is, a folder called Playlist. All right. As you can see, we found our, our all of our uh, playlists right over here that are inside this folder. Now, Windows Media Player is going to have, if you don't have Zoom and you're doing off Windows Media Player, it's going to have a folder called My Playlists. Now, you can find that. I can show it to you if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, so what we're going to do is right-click on this guy, open with. We're going to open it with Notepad. You can see all the code here for the music. You can see the death clock, then the monomar. Yours is going to be a lot longer than two so two songs, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to change this from, um, you can see the file up here. tells the computer what it is uh, to ZPL version 2.0. Okay, We're going to change that to WPL. That way it turns into a Windows file. And that's uh, version 1. So we're going to save as. You have to do this. .WPL. That's really important to put that .wpl there, because that's changing the file. And then you're going to save it as all files. You know you're doing it right when you can see all your other playlists. So if you don't see that and you see text, um, you don't see anything, you're doing something wrong. So let's make sure that .wpl is on there. It just disappeared when I showed you that for a second. So we're going to save that as .wpl. It just appeared right over here. Um, we don't need this one to duplicate it itself because it's poop and it likes being messy. So you can just delete that after it duplicates itself. So we have the WPL and we have the ZPL file. This one's for Zoom, this one's for Windows. So we can literally right click on this guy and then open with Windows Media Player or you can go underneath it and find it uh, through the playlist. So as you can see it's playing. Um, I'm going to switch to library really quick and you can see the poop is in the playlist. That's pretty messy, but it's there. So it's all playing right now, so right-clicking and doing this would be a good thing for you to do. Um, we're gonna click this button up here, it says List Options, that little drop-down arrow. We're gonna save a list as. All right. So we got our poop right here. We're gonna save it as M .m3u, because that's the file format that uh, iCrap, I mean iTunes, uses, I'm sorry. So, it's saved, and you can see it appeared right over here in this folder, and that's the M3U file. So, we're going to open up iCrap, I mean I, iTunes, I'm sorry, i must get a drink of water here for a second. So, we have iTunes open now, and all you have to do is get the M3U file, not the WPL, not the ZPL, but the M3U. Just take that guy, alright? Drag it like that. There we go. We got poop in the iTunes. Pretty sure it already was poopy, but whatever. Anyway, so that's a quick tutorial on how to do that. And then you gotta, good luck syncing it to your device. Sometimes that doesn't work out so well because, you know, iTunes just hates everything about your device and just deletes everything. But that's another video, so I'll talk to you later.